What's good guys? As you can tell, this video is going to be regarding the Shanquilla Robinson case. And specifically, I wanted to cover the rally that was held yesterday uh, for justice for Shanquilla. So let's just go ahead and get into this. Now this is coming from the Charlotte Observer. And it came out this morning at 10.32 a.m. Uh, wrote by DJ Simmons and Callie Cox. Family officials at Charlotte Rally plead for justice for Shanquilla Robinson. A beautiful soul, a kind young woman, an entrepreneurial spirit, Shanquilla Robinson was that and more. The halls of Charlotte's Little Rock AME Zion Church were filled yesterday with organizers, community members, and Shanquilla Robinson's family calling for her justice. Amid tears, laughter, and a call for action, Nearly 200 people came out to ensure her story is never forgotten. And let me just take a second here. 200 people? Come on. Where are the celebrities that are coming from this area? Where are they at? I'm sorry, guys, but I just have to call them out on that. Because there should be people, celebrities, screaming from the rafters about this case. Okay? All right. Back to the article. She was a young girl from my city, making it in a world that makes it so hard for little black girls to continue their dream. Akela Galloway, founder of the Social Justice Center, said. Shanquilla Robinson, 25, was from Charlotte and attended Winston-Salem State University. For some time after her death while on vacation in Cabo, Mexico, her family believed she may have died from alcohol poisoning. But a series of events, including the release of her body back to the United States, a death certificate from Mexican officials, and a video showing her being savagely beaten, led her family to suspect she was murdered and led police to issue an arrest warrant for someone on the trip with her. Protecting black women is not something to take lightly, Galloway said. It's a charge for our entire community to stand up for black women. But the tepid response to investigating her death initially was concerning, said Mary Hope, a Rock Hill, South Carolina resident. Hope, sh Hope said she attended the rally to support Shanquella's family and keep the spotlight on her story. Were it not for Shanquella Robinson's mother, Salamandra, authorities may have never thought to dig deeper into the death of a young black girl, she said. It showed a continued lack of care for black people from authorities, she added. Because had it been somebody else, they would have been on top of it, Hope said. Speakers invoked the Justice for Shanquilla rallying cry again and again throughout the two and a half hour event. Do y'all want justice for Shanquilla? Asked Quavella Wilson, a minister who was among the first speakers. I said, do you want justice for Shanquilla? As the crowd echoed its support in repeating the cry, Wilson responded, I want us to raise this roof. And I want them to hear us all the way in Mexico. Charlotte's mayor right now, Braxton Winston, who was joined by Mecklenburg County Commissioner Pat Cotham as elected official speaking at this event, said he struggled to find the right words to share. I'm here to bring words of comfort to the Robinson family and the community of Charlotte. I'm going to be honest. This is tough. This is hard, Winston said. How many words of comfort can you bring in a situation like this? Melissa Howard Jones, a Million Youth March member, said the community was coming out to wrap their arms around the family. They're still grieving, and we want them to know we're still here loving on them, she said. Howard Jones, a mother of three girls, said the case touched her as a parent. Shanquilla's mother, her dad, they didn't expect to have to bury their kids, she said. This could have been my child. She added the little information released has only increased worries for the family and community members. We're still fighting, and we're going to continue to fight until justice is served, she said. Now, Shanquella's dad, Bernard Robinson, did speak at the rally, and I want to go ahead and cut to what he said at this point. On behalf of um, 
Robinson Bannon and the Long family and all the friends and all the support and prayers um, across this nation and across this world. Um, Shane Fuller was my only daughter. And I strive on education. Not just beauty on the outside, but she had a beauty spirit inside. That's how I raised her. Made sure she had a foundation in the church. Knew who God was. Been baptized. Make sure that when she came up, you know, I want her to be very smart and tell to be a leader, not a follower. You know, always have her own. She ain't got pity on a man to do nothing for her. Because as long as your dad got breath in him, I'm going to be the one, like always, being God brought you in this world. You never have it out. So, going forward, I found her. That money when I got the call. First phone number I called down in Mexico, Cabo. The lady said, Mr. Roberts, I got your door. Look at this That lady stayed with me from day one. Never left. Called me, texted me, told me what the paperwork and all the feel. How much was it going to cost and everything? And that day, she came back. United States touched that ground, the land, the soil, rolled up in that funeral home. Them doors opened up. Cried like a baby. And I saw it. Saw the knot on the side of the head. Saw it like an island soil. Saw it cut it on the lid. Daddy stood there and cried like a baby. And I sit there and said, Baby, Daddy will give you justice. I would not let you die in vain. From then on out, I pray to God. I always pray to God. My friends, my family, my enemies. And all of a sudden, God just stopped moving. That's why everybody's here today. And from all y'all prayers across this nation, across this world, you know, as a father, this, this hurt him. Yeah? This hurt to the core. You tell me, that's my only child. She had so much going for herself, you know, so much. To be cut, but I can't have God why he did what he did. But trust and believe. God worked his own serious ways. I'm very, very patient. Very patient. I come from a mother and a father. We had strokes for discipline. And I tried to raise that up in here off. Raise that up in here off. Same scenario. You know, we're not perfect. We ain't had this little spoon in our mouth. This dad right here got out here and worked every day. As long as God woke me up with good health and good strength. I went to work to make sure she had what she had. It wasn't about the material stuff for me. It was all about making sure she went to school and got an education. Now, listen. No fancy cars and all that. It made sure she got an education. Where she can go out here and be a decent woman, independent, and make it on her own. And most I want to thank you all. High praise to the uh, Reverend Walker, the first lady, a uh, big little mop baby, Amy and Eve. All the um, speakers, everybody, that trust and believe. I serve a God. Yeah. A God that got power. That's right. Not out of nowhere. That's right. And trust and believe. He killed the layers off. He killed the layers off every time I stood over a body and told her, I will get justice for you. And he can kill a layer, kill a layer, kill a layer. Everything can come out now. And I just, y'all love y'all so much. I'm standing, bro. I am standing. I'm standing on y'all's prayers. That's how I'm standing on y'all's prayers in my face with the Lord. It's over my mind now. There's a struggle for me every day. Every day. I can't know. I just can't see that smile on her. You know. I just can't see that smile. That conversation. You know. Knowing that um, she was going to be successful in her own way. And that's what I'm talking It's not about trying to be successful like somebody else. You be successful in your own way. How many young kids out here? Y'all got entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial mindsets all in your brain. You just put it in front of the God. You can be who you want to be.
person here don't want to love, enjoy life, and like trout at a young age, I'm, you know, I'm getting a little few. Stay in your mind. You know, look at these places that you want to go to. Right. As you get older, you can do it. Right. You just believe. God bless the way you ain't nothing to do. Yeah. But these folks right here just took it away from them. You know, you know, they just took over out of a comfort zone and did what they did. And dad yeah, just couldn't be there to help. Like I always made sure who her friends were around her. I was trying to meet the parents right. going, mom, right. mom, right. father, right. yeah. who in the house talking. I always did that. You know. Then it's just a sister hurt so feeling that um she's not here. She's not here. But this dad right here, yes, I'm gonna fight for justice. Yes, Every breath in my body. Yes, Because this dad right here, you know, I'm a very caring dad, you know, very caring people person. Anybody know I'm a Charlotte uh, Anybody know Bernard Robinson? Trust and believe me. I'm real. I don't look down on nobody. I'm going to raise somebody. Not at all. I pray to God. I just want to thank God for this day. And everybody in, in this um, congregation, the media, to keep the story alive. Just to believe, like I said, God is moving. Yeah. Just to believe, it's on the clock, sit. But it's continuing on God's time. So it's going to happen. Just the way it happens. So that's my faith. And that's what I'm going to keep going on with faith. So he made all this is possible as he's doing it right now. So going forward, bless you all. God be safe, leave you here. And thank everybody across the nation, across the world, that got hold to this story and doing what they do. Thank you. We, too, are going to keep this case alive. We are not going to let this go. We are going to continue to push for justice for Shanquella. So, I just wanted to cover the rally, give you guys a few pictures that it came out. And, um, again, I say to the Charlotte natives, uh, especially in the celebrity world, where are you? Where are you? One tweet. One post, one anything can do so much to bring awareness for this case. So, uh, I'm pointing my finger at you. Um, I wish you guys would stand up more for one of your own, a Charlotte native. Um, but regardless, I'm going to end the video on that note. And anything else that I find regarding the rally, I will bring to you guys. Uh, I'm working on a couple of other videos right now. But everybody have a great evening and thanks for watching.